In this video we're going to be looking at different ways from reading input from the user. Uh, although uh, many other input mechanisms can be used in this course, we obviously just use the keyboard. There's a few things to notice when you read from the user. Um, you always need what we call a prompt. That means a right line statement that tells the user what to do. So you cannot just have a read line statement and the user does not know what to enter. So before every read line statement, you will have a right line statement saying to the user what you want from him. In this case, you want the user to enter the name. So what happens in the second command? Console.readline reads input from the keyboard. So it literally takes the characters as you type them on the key until you press the enter key. As soon as you press the enter key, whatever was before the enter key is provided by a read line to the program. Please note that the read line statement always provides a string. So in this case that's a no problem. So if you typed in John, J-O-H-N, John will be assigned to the variable name. But now we have a challenge. We want to read in the person's age. So you again have the prompt. Console right line, enter your age. So let's say the user enters a 2, a 3 and an enter key. So the 2, 3 comes in via the read line statement. In the previous slide we said that read line provides a string. So the 2, 3 comes through as the string 2, 3 which obviously cannot be assigned to age. So this int age is assigned to console.readline is a syntax error. We're trying to give a string to an integer. The way C Sharp uh, solves this problem is by using the command int.parse. Notice the syntax how it's used. What this actually does, it, it receives the, the, the string, let's say in this case 2, 3 from the user for the age. And then the int.pass literally changes it into an integer. We won't get much more technical than that. It converts the string 23 into the integer 23. And then the 23 can be assigned to the variable age, which is an integer. The same would apply then if you want to read in a double. Whenever you ask for uh, an amount, monetary amount, in this case salary, from the user we make it double because obviously it could be 23 rand 50 for example. So instead of changing the string that comes into an integer it is now changed to a double by saying double dot parse. So the read line provides the string let's say 25.6 and the double dot parse changes it into 25.6 as a double.